Right, I've just bought a new mini drill um, tool made by Hilda here, um, Dremel type tool. It's very similar to the Dremel 4000. And today I'd just like to show you what you get with the tool and how it compares with the Dremel um, 4000. And also I'm gonna take it um, apart um, well, take the side off so that you can actually see the quality of the motor and the bearings or whatever inside. So when you buy this tool, it comes with a nice selection of um, bits for it. Sanding drums, uh, brushes, um, polishing mops and all those types of things that you get in um, these sets. In a nice box. It comes with a cutting adapter. The... Um, flexible um, shaft it comes with four collets and the spanner obviously to release the collet chuck a clear guard for when you're doing sawing or grinding to stop the sparks coming up in your face or whatever and it comes with um, this handle here which is very similar to the um, Dremel one which fits on the end here so that you can hold it without holding the actual body and that makes it very um, nice to use using one of those. It also comes with a spare set of um, brushes for the motor. And that's one thing I really like about the uh, Chinese tools like this. Uh, they always seem to put a pair or a pair of um, brushes in like this. So you can keep those. I have a box uh, with all the different brushes in like a um, tobacco tin. Um, put all the brushes in and then um, in the future if I um, get anything go wrong with a tool like this or my drills or other tools I can um, first have a look if those brushes need changing. So to compare both tools together this is what they look like. Um, like I say they're very similar. The Dremel 4000 has speed control here whereas the Hilda has the dial there and the on off switch there. On the um, Dremel it has a slide on off one on the front here. They both have similar locks to lock the spindle for taking the um, or unscrewing the chuck and they both look similar um, with their brush ports here. And when I um, take this apart in a minute, I'll show you how easy it is to actually change these brushes if you ever need to. The Dremel is rated at 175 watts, whereas the Hilda is rated at 350 watts. And I'd just like to say that I've had this Dremel for many years now, probably seven or eight years, and I've um, used it a lot. In fact, it's been my main tool of this type and I'm really pleased with it. It's an excellent quality tool and um, having a couple of uh, tools like this is excellent because you can have one set up for um, something like a grinder or a, a burr tool and then you can have um, the other one set up um, with a different tool. So you pick up whatever you need quickly. Also with these um, type of tools, I rarely use them held um, in this manner. I usually have them hanging on the wall and use the flexi shaft. And I do that because the flexi shaft is easier to manoeuvre and it also um, stops holding the um, tool and covering up any of the vents and also it stops the um, tool from wearing out on the actual body. So the Hilda is excellent quality, it has nice um, heavy ABS type plastic uh, build with this rubber decal here which makes it feel good in the hand, just as good as the um, Dremel I think. And um, the actual tools that come with it like the adapters here are all just the same as the um, Dremel. The only thing that um, differs in um, quality or look um, to the um, Dremel is the actual flexi shaft although this is a very good one the flexi shaft for the Dremel um, appears to look a bit better and is probably a bit nicer to hold in the hand 
One of the things um, that I noticed when I um, bought this tool, I did think the um, thread here would be the same as the Dremel, it's not. And the reason I checked it out is because I like to use these um, little mini chucks um, rather than a collet on the end. So if you buy one of these and you have a Dremel tool, these um, mini chucks here won't fit this um, shaft. The thread size on the body here is the same as the Dremel, so um, these will screw on the same. And the actual Dremel shaft would um, screw on there okay. But you wouldn't be able to use it because the um, adapter that goes on the end here to accept the um, square drive bit in the end there um, obviously wouldn't be able to go on the um, spindle here. You could probably actually make one of those up so you could actually use the Dremel one if you wanted to. And if I did that then I'd be able to use this shaft here with the um, little chuck here. I'm hoping the Chinese will um, bring out the um, small chuck version for this one but I haven't seen one yet. The tool comes with a nice long flexible cable and it's a good quality one not one of those sort of plasticky types that are um, hard to manoeuvre. It comes with this two pin plug on the end here. I normally cut these off and put a UK plug on, but if you don't want to do that, you can use one of these um, fused adapters. I don't use the Chinese ones, which they um, send with this um, tool because they're not fused. If you use one of these, you'll be perfectly safe. So now I'll show you it going. And if you buy this tool you'll um, notice straight away that uh, when you use it there's no vibration at all with it, it's lovely and smooth. The um, Hilda here has a top speed of 30,000 uh, RPM, the Dremel has 35,000 but I think that um, sounds really good and I'm looking forward to using it in the workshop. So now I'm going to show you quickly what's inside and this is good um, because you'll see how easy it is to change the um, electrical brushes that I showed earlier. You can't take the um, ports out here like you can on some drills and things. You have to take the side off to be able to change those brushes. So just take the chuck off first, call it out, this collar off here pull this hanging clip out from one side and then take out all the screws. So now I've taken out all the side screws and if you do this make sure you unplug first obviously and also work over a nice um, clean area like this because there's some very small springs inside. So I'll just take that one apart and you can see there that the um, spring on here is very small on this um, plunger here which uh, locks the spindle so you want to be careful you don't lose that one and then you can see there the um, quality of the um, motor and that so there's that small spring on the plunger just take that plunger off and tip that spring out or hook it out. And there you see the um, ports here for the brushes. If you ever need to change a brush, um, all you do is hold it like this and lift one of those uh, plastic pieces out and the spring will come out and then you can pull the um, brush out and it's just the same for um, putting it back together again put the spring in the um, plastic part here there's the brush come out there
put it in while you're holding it like this and then push it into the groove and that's located. The spring is um, on the brush now with the narrow end obviously onto the brush. So you can see there it's dead easy to change the brushes if you need to um, plus clean this commutator. The tool inside here is excellent in that it's got these um, roller bearings um, either end and I've taken the Dremels apart and I think this looks just as good. So to put it back together again take this um, little plunger here put the spring on it and put that one in place making sure that it's the right way round and then place the side on making sure that the on off switch is in place push it together and before you put the screws in just make sure the plunger is working on the spring and locating in the grooves to lock the spindle and then I put probably two screws in and then just test the um, tool see if it's working okay before I put all the screws back in the side so I think it's an excellent quality tool um, especially for the price that you pay for it also you can get this one on a one week delivery from um, Banggood if you live in the UK on the site now you can click on a tab um, to see what um, stuff you can actually buy off of the um, site for one week delivery so it's worth looking on there first for anything um, if you're in the UK it saves having to wait for it to come from China so I'll put a link below and in the comments section so you can have a look at this one online and um, I hope to be making something in the workshop in my next video.